it's William with the Riverstone Life. And yes, I'm losing my voice. I got a cold, so bear with me on this video. Um, but we're going to talk about this whole RV transport business stuff. And I'm on the road leaving Pennsylvania right now. I got nine and a half hour drive to Indiana tomorrow. I got my first orientation class. But before we get into that, let's just go back a little bit. For somebody that just came across this channel for the first time, what happened? A year and five months ago, Robin sold her home. Yes, she did. And after a lot of changes in our life, we ended up buying a Riverstone fifth wheel, 43 foot long. That's why we're called the Riverstone Life, is because of that fifth wheel. And that's the reason I started the YouTube channel, is because of that fifth wheel. That's what got us here today. But in the last year, we've been to 25 states with the fifth wheel, put 20,000 miles on that fifth wheel, hauling it behind this truck. So they got 20,000 miles um, on the fifth wheel in the truck. But we also got a Jeep and we decided to go to like, I don't know, four or five more states in the Jeep, all the way up through Alaska, took the Alaska Highway and did all that. So if you're coming across this the first time, you wanna check out some of our other videos, we got videos across the whole United States, all the way up to Alaska, all the way through Canada, all that kind of stuff. Plus, I live this life full time, so I'm always trying to make some money. So I have all kinds of videos out there about um, me trying to make some money with, with uh, package deliveries and, and, and all kinds of them. I mean, food deliveries, taking people in Ubers. I'll do it all when it comes to this. And if you're gonna get into this lifestyle, you might've come across this video because you wanna make some money and you know, this might be perfect for you. So check out some of our other videos, but let's get to right back to what this video is about. Uh, a few months ago, I was watching you know, YouTube and seeing some of these other people that uh, were doing this type of work and my whole background is I owned a motorcycle. I was in the motorcycle business for over 25 years and I was in the courier business for another 15 years. Plus when I met Robin, I had her start her own courier business. So we've always been doing deliveries. The difference between this and that is I was in charge or should I say Robin was in charge, but I could work as much as I want, work when I wanted to do it, how I wanted to do it. This is a whole new deal with being regulated by DOT and you know having to only work a certain amount of hours and have certain month down hours, that's gonna be hard for me. So um, if you're watching these videos, doing deliveries, busting your ass on the road, and getting things done, and not being able to, you're not being told by somebody how to do it, that's me. So I know that I can excel at this job as long as I don't have to deal with a lot of problems with the, uh, these, these delivery, or these uh, uh, companies that you work for out here. Like uh, the one I'm gonna go to is Wave, Wave Express. Now I signed up for Wave, I signed up for uh, Horizon, and I signed up for Indiana Transport, okay? Now you're wondering, why did you pick Wave? Well, I'm gonna tell you. Wave just didn't mess around. They, they, they just were right on the game, you know, getting me three blocks down from where I'm staying at. I was able to go get a drug test. It was just able to, it was just fast and easy and seamless, you know, it just went together. All the other ones want you to pay them $195 before you even send them your information and don't even know if you're gonna be approved. Well, Wave wakes until you get to your orientation and then you gotta pay it for your on your first day of orientation so that you're ready for the second day. So you already have an idea, you know, if you're gonna get into this. Plus, the other thing, and I don't know this about the other two because I never got that far, Wave pays for one of your night hotel stays. One night, they have a hotel that you call and stuff, tell them you're with them, and one of the nights they will pick up. So, I mean, normally you just do two nights, but me, I'm doing three because I'm in the process to go and check out our fifth wheel that's totally done and drop a bunch of stuff stuff off in the fifth wheel and get it ready to go. So when I'm done doing this, me and Robin can get it on the road again. Um, I'm kind of hoping that we can put the fifth wheel in a base place, basically, and then we can jump in this truck and go do, do deliveries for the, for this company and travel around and visit our families and you know find new places without all the expenses going on us all the time. Yes, we'll have some hotels, but we'll stay with family members and stuff across the United States. That's what I'm hoping this works out that way. But you never know. I mean, 
this is all new to me I might quit the first day you never know but these next videos are going to show you if you can make any money doing this and what it costs me all the way down to the penny and what you need to start this job so um, saying that we'll just leave that at that and then we'll start with what I have spent so far to get me to this point now you're going to have find the app here you're gonna th with wave I didn't have to pay for my drug test I'm sure that it's included in that package of that hundred and ninety five dollars you've got to pay them once you get going and it gives you these little um, magnetic decals or they got different ones that go on the side of your vehicle so when you're hooked to their vehicle or to their campers and fifth wheels and stuff that you're covered that way but you also have to have insurance Another liability insurance worth a million dollars. That's a hundred and forty some dollars a month. So you've gotta, you've gotta, you know, to, once you get started in this, it's gonna cost you some money. So you want to make sure that you know you're ready to do this before you just dive in and spend a couple thousand dollars. And uh, before you know it, you're upside down and you got a wife yelling at you, going, "This was a stupid idea." So, <laughs> but I'm gonna pull up that list and get all the information I need, and we'll be right back just like that we're right back <laughs> I couldn't find it on my phone that's just funny all right so I had to pay hundred twenty nine dollars for a dot physical that was out of pocket so I just uh, made an appointment went in there and if you watch any of my other videos I think that physical is a complete joke um, but that's what they you got to have that card or you, you, know, you can't do this work so and then the liability insurance is hundred forty one dollars now I won't get that um, until I get through all this all this uh, orientation and, and if you're all approved and everything's done because basically I'm driving up here and for all I know they might not pass the truck they might not pass something on the truck they might want this change they might want things me to do things that I don't want to do so this is all up in the air this is just an expense but I thought this would be a great video for YouTube because you know I'm leaving Pennsylvania driving for nine and a half hours getting in a hotel got to get up tomorrow morning at 7:45 and be there but be there at 7:45 and then I guess they go through all the truck and all that kind of stuff that whole day and then the next day I think you go to another building and it's probably your class type stuff you know I'm sure they're gonna teach you how to use this logbook app they make you download all these apps so when you get there they can sign you into them so you got to do all that stuff but let's get back to the list the orientation is $195 so somewhere there I'm gonna have to give them a credit card for 195 bucks I'm sure that's paying for the stuff they got to give me the class and the drug test that I already took so and then the hotel stay I'm staying for three nights they're picking up one night so if you were a little closer or you're able to budget things where you don't have to uh, uh, spend three nights there but I have a lot of stuff I'm trying to get done in between there so I thought that would be the best thing for me to do but that's gonna cost me $238 I filled this diesel truck up this morning so it's full I know I can go all the way on this it's got a 50 gallon tank so I'm gonna have $116.91 diesel just to get me there so I've spent $819.91 and I haven't even got there I haven't even passed the class I haven't even you know no idea if I'm gonna make anything and I know that the first load they give you is probably gonna be a smaller load I would think so that could probably pay six to eight hundred dollars for that first delivery so you could see that you're already behind and then you got to hope you get another loan so I don't know if I'm gonna be out here for three days four days or a week or two weeks because I'm just gonna play with this and see what happens I need to get back at a certain time because Robin has surgery unless that gets rescheduled so uh, but I'm also out here in the roads with a winter storm in effect this is uh, I think today is the 11th of February so you have an idea when you watch this video where I'm at also I have a birthday February 14th yes I'm a Valentine's baby <laughs> so and I am not gonna be with my wife for the well ever since we've been together girlfriend and we just got married last year so this is gonna be the first time that we're not together on Valentine's so that's kind of weird too but I had to go with the way this fit and you know and Robin's okay with that uh, but if this works out, she's going to be with me on these trips anyway. So if you watch this channel for Robin, I'm sorry that you're not going to see her in these videos. But she will be back. So, um, but that's what we got there. But then, let's find the other list here. Okay. 
So now when you want to get into this line of work, these are the things you have to have. Now, understand I already had a fifth wheel plate because I'm already hauling my fifth wheel around. Now, I didn't have mud flaps in this truck because I had a rock tamer. And a rock tamer, they do not allow a rock tamer. And I understand why. Because I had the rock tamer and it, that thing, half the rocks missed that thing and beat up my fifth wheel and I had to fix that stuff. So I sold the rock tamer to somebody else that was going to try that. So I'm starting from scratch when it comes to that stuff. So you got to have mud flaps. Now I did put front mud flaps on it just because I had back ones. So I might as well put front ones on it so you don't have to do that. But those cost me $49. Now, just for a reference, this is a 2023 GMC Sierra um, Heavy Duty Denali 3500 Dually truck, okay? It's got 20,000, well, it's got 22,363 miles starting this adventure right now, okay? But, rear mud flaps for this, all this stuff came from Amazon. The rear mud flaps were $169.99, so I had to buy those. The rear rock guard that they make you put along the whole thing and now I see different ones on different trucks so I don't even know if they're gonna accept mine mine has the cutout for the diesel exhaust the ones I see other people putting on there their exhaust is blowing right on it you know it's gonna melt that thing so I got this one so I don't even know if they're gonna prove that but I like the way it looks so it was three hundred eight dollars and ninety nine cents Okay, you got to have an RV battery in an RV box because some of these trailers and stuff that you haul do not have a battery. You need to have a battery to hook up on it, ratchet it down for the trip. So I spent $159.99 for the battery and $8.99 for the box. Okay, now I did not have, uh, I had a hitch, I had a real nice fancy hitch that you could flip over that has two different balls and everything on it. Um, that I use for all the other trailers that I haul, but for some reason, they want you to have one of those weight distribution, I think I get that right, hitches. So basically, it's a travel trailer hitch. So I had to buy one of those, and that thing cost me $310 on Amazon. So now I got that invested in this truck. You have to buy an Easy Pass transponder on Amazon. That was $35, and then you gotta get it connected to one of your debit cards or credit cards. Okay, you have to have a Bluetooth printer. It's really nice, but just remember, if you get one of these Bluetooth printers, I had no idea what a Bluetooth printer was. I bought the printer, got regular printer paper. You don't use regular, it has to have special paper. This thing does not have ink in it. So the ink is built into the paper. So you gotta buy the printer. The printer I found was $199. I saw some out there for $100, but they didn't have good reviews and I didn't wanna buy something that wasn't gonna work. So I spent $199 on that. I spent $20 on printer paper for it. So I do have that, don't know if I'll ever need it, but according to them, to go to work there, you have to have that. Okay. You have to have a set of triangles, those were 25 bucks. I already, I already had those, I bought those when we started this thing, but I did, I already had them. A uh, log book, I don't know why you need that, because they have an app for the log book, but I ended up buying those for $12.98 too. Gotta have a fire extinguisher mounted in the bed of your truck. I got two of them because they had a deal on them, but 25 bucks got two of them. I mounted, they already came with the mounts. I mounted one on each side of the truck, so if something did happen, I wouldn't have to run around to the other side if I was on that other side. So I thought that was the smart thing to do. You also have to have a safety chain, at least six foot long. I got a six foot safety chain for $41. You have to have a torque wrench. Now, I looked at one for Amazon, they're $39. They had one for $27. I already had a nice expensive one, so I didn't have to put that money out of the pocket, but I did buy it a long time ago. Okay, and then bungee cords. I bought some bungee cords for $9.99. Ratchet straps for $19.99. Um, I did buy a couple smaller ones because mine are bigger. In case they didn't want me using it, I wouldn't think it mattered, but I bought a couple small ones. So, just in that stuff. Now, this is not counting the fifth wheel plate. Now, this will get you out there because you can go and start hauling uh, travel trailers. You're not going to be able to haul, you know, fifth wheels yet because you probably don't have a fifth wheel plate. And you can wait till you made some money and get that. Also, they recommend a fuel tank. Now, I don't have mine in here yet. I did order one. That thing was $739. And then the, the kit to mount it all up because it's a gravity fed was another 30, 40 bucks. So I did order that, but I'm not going to have it on that trip. This truck does have a 50 gallon tank. And I understand why they want you to have that, and you're gonna, down the road, you're gonna wanna have that. Because you can go to one state, and the diesel fuel will be a dollar more in another state. So you just imagine if you're paying too much for your fuel, how much you're losing in your profit. So if you had that extra tank in the back, you could you know, 
drive all the way across the whole country and then buy the fuel after you drop off the trailer at the cheapest station you can find. So that's another thing you're going to want to do. But as of right now, I got $1,434.90 just to get all the stuff that they want me to have to go try and pass this orientation. Like I said, try and pass this orientation. I have no idea what I'm getting into. Plus, you already know that I spent another $819.91. So I am at $2,200 to start this adventure. Now, if I can go out here and do two or three trips, um, maybe I can just break even, and then when I start doing this again, it'll be all profit. That's what I'm hoping for. I thought I'd sneak out here. If I could get lucky and do two or three trips, then come back, go do my surgery with Robin and everything, get that all done, get our fifth wheel moved where we're taking it, get that all set up, and then jump in the vehicle and go do some of these loads and start making some money. That's my mindset. But I have heard where people go here, do one delivery for them, and they don't have nothing else for them. So my goal was to get set up with all three of these companies at once, but I've had such a pain in the butt trying to get set up with the other ones, I haven't got that far yet. So I figured, let's just see if the truck passes these guys this place, gets all set up, and I get my first load done. Then I'll start sending the paperwork over to the other ones, um, unless Wave keeps me busy, then I won't worry about it. But I figured, I, I think you need to have at least two companies to work for. I mean, all the other jobs that I do out there, I'm working for four or five companies, and that's how I kept myself busy. Now, when I first started doing, uh, courier business with Robin once we started hers she got a contract with Sherwin Williams and I'd get up in the morning and I would do like several deliveries for them and then I had nothing to do the rest of the day and then I'd go do Uber I would go take haul people around and do Uber and stuff like that to keep myself busy until the other orders came in and I made an awesome living doing that so I figured if I do this I need something else to fill those gaps now I have other companies that I can deliver for but now that I have this fifth wheel plate in the back of the truck and I'm gonna have a fuel tank and I'm gonna have all these toolboxes mounted back there and everything set up, it's hard for me to haul any big, big deliveries in the back of this truck. So I'm losing that now. So, you know, like I said, this is a, this is a new adventure, but I'm gonna try to make these videos so that people can decide if they wanna do this and follow me through these steps, you know. Um, got a lot of practice at this YouTube channel now doing all our other videos so I'm hoping that I can make these videos the best out of any videos we've done so far um, because I know if you're gonna get into the RV life personally myself if you're gonna get into the full-time RV life and you're already pulling a fifth wheel or travel trailer around just imagine if you parked your fifth wheel in the summers in one area that you like and there's places that you can do these deliveries during the week and then come you know work do it three days a week or four days a week and then come home and hang out with the family and go do all your things and make a great living and then turn around and move this fifth wheel to another part of the United States and do some deliveries in that area plus everything you're doing this truck that fifth wheel your home the places you're staying is all deductible now I know how to be a 1099 employee and never owe any money to the government so imagine if you could get into this business and make the government help support some of your RV traveling around because you are traveling around for work. A lot of that stuff is deductible. Now, I'm not, I'm not a, you know, an expert on the law or an expert on taxes, but so I need to throw that in there that don't say, William said you could do this. You need to talk to an expert and they'll tell you what you can do and what you can't do. But I'm telling you right now, there's a lot of things that you'll better deduct doing this lifestyle. And all that money can come back into extra of upgrading your truck, making you have all the best equipment out there, all the best stuff for your RV, and make it useful for yourself. So that much I know, because I've been pretty much self-employed my whole life and been able to deduct a lot of stuff. So just remember, I had to throw that in there that I don't want somebody out there saying, William said I can do it. <laughs> because you can do a lot of stuff, but there's some guidelines and taxes. They change every year, so, but, just think about this you know if this is the type of lifestyle you want to get and you've been wanting to do it but you don't know how you're going to support it maybe this is the way to support it so you know subscribe to the channel like the video so it gets out there to all the people and keep watching these videos as I put them out because they might be the perfect video and the perfect lifestyle for you so or it, this might not work at all and I can save you the $2,200 that I just spent so that's what I'm talking about so if you like what me and Robin are doing on the channel again subscribe to the channel if you like this video give us a thumbs up we have over 220 some full-length videos out there and Robin has a thousand shorts out there this channel has is 
got 6,500 subscribers as of today. It's got three and a half million views. So I'm, I'm hoping that it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. So um, this is the first installment to William getting on the road and experimenting with this new adventure.